All right, Drew, you can hit the lights. Oh. Did you personally perform the exorcism? No, I'm not authorized, but I've assisted on many. See, an exorcism can be very dangerous, not only for the victim, but for anyone in the room. So what happened to Maurice? Well, he tried to kill his wife, but instead he shot her in the arm and then he turned the gun on himself. Maurice had a very troubled life with little to live for, and not even an exorcist could bring him back. Which brings us to the three stages of demonic activity. Infestation, oppression, and possession. Now, infestation, that's, that's the whispering, the footsteps, the feeling of another presence, which ultimately grows into oppression. The second stage. Now, this is where the victim, and it's usually the one who's the most psychologically vulnerable, is targeted specifically by an external force. Breaks the victim down, crushes their will, and once in a weakened state, leads them to the third and final stage, possession. Hey, Ed, Lorraine? Yeah. There's someone here that would like to talk to you. Oh, hi. Thanks, Drew. Thank sure. You. I'll see you later. How can we help you? There's something horrible happening in my house. Could you come and take a look? You know, uh, it's getting kind of late. We, we really need to be headed. No, you don't understand. Well, but we do. There's usually some sort of rational explanation. I have explanation five daughters for... who are scared to death. I'm so afraid this thing wants to hurt us. I mean, you have a daughter. I mean, wouldn't you do anything you could to protect her? Please, please, can you come and take a look? Of course we will. Of course we will. <laughs> 